Bookaholics, this is Isabel, and welcome to another video. So today, I'm going to be giving you guys recommendations for adult romances. <music> adult romances are one of my favorite genres just because they are so much fun to read. They're just like enjoyable, fast reads that kind of make you feel all gooey and good inside. So. I definitely want to recommend you guys some romance books for the Book of Love series that I'm doing this week for Valentine's Day, so let's get right into it. The first three recommendations are actually authors who write generally romances. These three are like my favorite romance writers. I love getting their books and buying them and reading them and just getting the feels because they're just so wonderful and I love them. So the first author I have for you today is Vari McFarland. Vari McFarland has has written some great rom-com books in the romance genre. They're just so much fun and they usually have like some kind of conflict that the main character is going through that she has to overcome but it also has a side of romance in it that really helps her to develop herself and become the person she's meant to be. So the first book I recommend from Vari McFarlane is Don't You Forget About Me. This one I read recently and it was just so much fun. It follows this girl who's working at this restaurant that's really going nowhere for her and she gets fired and so she needs to find a new job and she ends up doing a temp job with this party and then they end up hiring her at this pub and Lo and behold, one of the co-owners of this pub is someone she dated before in high school, but he doesn't remember her. So it just follows as she's like trying to understand why he doesn't remember her and kind of glad that he doesn't because their relationship ended very, very not amicably. So it's just a fun, fun read and I really enjoyed it. The next one is If I Never Met You. So this one I really, really enjoyed. I was smiling the whole time I was reading it and I really loved it. The ending was a little bit rushed and a little disappointing but the whole journey otherwise was a lot of fun and this one follows a girl who is in this long relationship with this one guy and he just randomly decides that you know what i want to have more experiences so let's go on a break and as soon as that happens he ends up getting someone pregnant so it just follows as she's kind of pissed off at this and this rivalry she has with this one co-worker that is very like the playboy of the firm and this guy has his reputation is kind of hurting his career so they decide to come up with this plan of pretending to date so he gets more of a recognition in the firm and she gets back at her ex so it just follows a wonderful trope of the fake dating and I loved it and it was so much fun. The next one I'd recommend is It's Not You, It's Me. This one was also a lot of fun because again it has the conflict of her dating this guy for a long time and she decides to propose to him and when she does she learns that he has been dating someone else. So that relationship is done and she just kind of has a breakdown, decides to, I can't remember if she gets fired or if she quits her job and then moves to a brand new city and just starts over. So it just follows her as she's trying to get back to herself and just find a new journey for herself after wasting so much time with this one guy. And the last one I have that I'd recommend is Who's That Girl? Um, this one was my first novel that I read of Vara McFarlane and I really really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun and this one follows a girl who goes to this wedding and kind of makes an ass of herself and the work decides that maybe she should get a little break so they decide that she should go to this place where this author is and do like a ghostwriting with him to get her away from the firm and all the rumors and everything that's going on and so she kind of gets banished from from her work so it just follows as she is ghostwriting for this really famous person and you know kind of what happens after that they start interacting and sparks fly so yeah this one was a lot of fun and it really 
cemented my love of Vara McFarlane. The next author I would highly recommend for this genre is Christina Lauren. So Christina Lauren, they have written a lot of books in the romance genre, like so many. There are some I haven't read yet that I plan to, but the ones that I have read I have really really enjoyed. There's a few hit or misses, but generally I really enjoy her books. So the first book I'd recommend of Christina Lauren is The Unhoneymooners. So this one is probably one of my favorite book of theirs. It was just just such a wonderful story. So it follows these two characters. One of them is the twin sister or the sister of this one girl who's getting married to this guy who happens to be the brother of this other guy and they very much dislike each other. Um, but at this wedding everyone gets food poisoning and the newlyweds cannot go on their honeymoon so the two characters who hate each other decide to go on this trip and they get to know each other better so I absolutely love this book it was so much fun so adorable and yeah I'd highly recommend this one the next one that I loved of Christina Lauren was Jocelyn Hazel's guide to not dating um this one I really really love because the main character reminded me so much of my sister so obviously I love the character so much. Hazel is a kind of a weird character. She kind of follows her own flow. She does whatever she wants, doesn't really care what other people think. And Josh and her met back in college and they had this really awkward interaction. They hadn't seen each other since that college experience and they randomly see each other at this outing at Hazel's friend's house and so they meet again and they become really great friends and they start setting up each other on blind dates but they're double dating at the same time so technically they're just dating each other because the people they set up on their blind dates aren't necessarily who they're looking for so yeah it's just a really fun book I really enjoyed it and then the next author I have should be absolutely no surprise and that is Sophie Kinsella. Sophie Kinsella is my absolute favorite romance writer. Every book that comes out I want to read it, I want to grab it, and I want to see how it goes because she is not only writing romances, she's a hilarious writer. Like they are so funny and I just love them so much. So I have a list here. Like I have so many that I have read of hers and they're just all lovely. I haven't gotten to the Shopaholic series um, but otherwise every other book that's like a standalone I love. So the first one I'd recommend is I've Got Your Number. This one's probably not my absolute favorite but it's like my second favorite of all of hers. Uh, this one just is so adorable, so cute and it just makes me smile every time I think about it and it follows a girl named Poppy who is engaged to this guy Magnus and she accidentally loses the engagement ring and then her phone gets stolen so then she happens to find this abandoned phone in the bin and decides to grab it and lo and behold this guy Sam is wanting his phone back and so it just kind of follows this progression of her wanting to keep the phone because that's the phone the hotel and everyone she's called about her engagement ring has so she needs it if she wants to get her ring back so it just follows a whole journey of her trying to keep the phone and Sam trying to get the phone back so it's just a lovely story. The next one I have is Can You Keep a Secret? Oh my god, this one's so adorable too. This one follows um, a girl who is on this airplane and it goes through turbulence and she's so scared that she ends up telling this stranger all of her secrets. This stranger happens to be the boss at her work and so he knows all about her secrets and everything about her pretty much. It's just it's such a lovely book and I really loved it. The next one is The Undomestic Goddess. So this one's also a really fun one. It follows a girl who is a lawyer but she kind of has a bit of a breakdown and decides to like abandon her firm where she is and go work at this house where she could be a like housemaid. It just follows as she has no idea what she's doing and there's the gardener who's there who she interacts with and it's just an adorable book and I really enjoyed it. It's so much fun. The next one is Remember Me. Remember Me is the first book I read of Sophie Kinsella and I absolutely loved it. It follows a girl again. Um, she is married but at the beginning of this book she had gone to a car accident and she doesn't remember 
anything from the last five years and the last five years her life has totally changed so she is married to someone she doesn't know she has lost all of her friends and she doesn't know really what's going on i really really loved it and yeah it really just cemented my love for sophie kinsella the next one i want to talk about is my absolute favorite sophie kinsella book and that's 20s girl this one honestly is my absolute favorite because it's not only freaking hilarious but the love story is so sweet and wonderful um it follows a girl again um who her great aunt just died and at the funeral she um happens to see her aunt's ghost and so the ghost is kind of haunting her trying to get her to find this lost necklace that the aunt needs to like rest in peace so she has to go finding this necklace and it just follows as she's like freaking out about seeing a ghost for one thinking she's absolutely crazy trying to hide the fact that she sees a ghost and falling in love with this one guy who she meets on her journey to finding this necklace and it's just a lovely story i really really enjoy it. The next one I'd recommend is My Not So Perfect Life. This one was an enjoyable one too because I saw myself so much in the character here. She sees people on social media and like sees how happy they are and she just doesn't feel that in her life and she feels very unaccomplished and then she happens to get fired and she has to move back to her hometown to live with her parents again and she just starts kind of like creating this whole extravagant life on social media even though she's absolutely not happy at all in her life and then she kind of learns that oh maybe social media actually doesn't show what someone's life is actually like and it just follows her and there is romance in it but I really really enjoyed this one it wasn't my favorite of Sophie Kinsella's but it definitely was a good one and the last one I have here from Sophie Kinsella I know there's a lot it's love your life this is my most recent of Sophie Kinsella that I've read and this one surprised me honestly because when I first started reading it it was definitely an insta love and I'm not the biggest fan of insta love but that wasn't the point of this book. The point was to show how fast someone can like fall in love with someone or get into the honeymoon stage and then when they actually start a relationship back home after the honeymoon stage is done they have to actually learn who the other person is. So I really, really loved following this journey as they fall in love really quickly and then start to learn who each other is after the honeymoon stage is done. So I really, really enjoyed this one and it was so much fun. All right, so those are the three authors. Now let's get into individual books. So the first one I have here is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. This one follows a girl who has a lot of chronic illnesses and chronic pain and she has been living with her parents and her grandparents for most of her life. And when a close encounter with death happens, she decides enough is enough and I'm going to live out my life and actually get a life. So it just follows as she starts to live out on her own, trying to accomplish so many different bucket list items that she wants to do. And when she lives at this new apartment, the supervisor there, she has a bit of a hate relationship with and eventually it becomes more and it's just a wonderful book i really enjoyed it and yeah it's it's really adorable the next one i recommend is would like to meet by rachel winters this one honestly was such an enjoyable book it follows a girl who is in this film agency um and she is supposed to get this guy Ezra who's a screenwriter to actually write this rom-com script and he's just not doing it so she makes a deal that if she can find a way to make some of these rom-com cliches and tropes to actually work in real life that he will actually write his rom-com script so they make a deal and so she's trying to make these tropes work in real life and it's just such a hoot honestly it was so much fun I really enjoyed it it's just hilarious and while she's trying to get these tropes to work there's this dad and his daughter who are there who kind of just like 
entertained by her attempts at this so it's just a lovely book i really enjoyed it and it's one of my favorite rom-coms of last year and then the next one i have for you today is waiting for tom hanks tom hanks the next one i recommend is waiting for tom hanks by carrie winfrey so this one follows a girl who is obsessed with rom-coms and especially tom hank ones and she is like devoted to trying to find a man in the same way as these rom-coms and she is not having any luck which is not a surprise because Tom Hanks doesn't really exist like he exists as a person but like not the Tom Hanks of rom-com is she you know she's convinced that she can find someone in this way so when an actual rom-com ish cliche happens in her life where this movie is being filmed and there is a very famous person who's in the film and they run into each other and she spills her coffee on him um her friends are convinced that this is the rom-com-ish scene that she's been waiting for her whole life but she is not convinced she doesn't think that the actor is who she's meant to be with she doesn't think that this is the Tom Hanks that she's supposed to find. Just follows kind of after that. You kind of see where it's going. It's pretty predictable, but it's still really, really fun, and I enjoyed this one. The next one I'd recommend is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. So this one wasn't my favorite, but I still enjoyed it for what it was, especially like the first half of the book. This one follows a girl who her boyfriend just dumped her, and they've been living with each other, and so she has to find a place to live ASAP. So so she happens to find this listing of sharing a flat. They kind of share this flat together, but they never actually meet. They only meet through notes and text messages between each other. Eventually they do meet in person, but as they're kind of interacting in notes, they slowly but surely start to like each other and fall in love. So it's just a lovely story. I definitely enjoyed the first part of it more than the second part, but it's still an enjoyable rom-com that you can get a lot out of. The next one I'd recommend is When It's Real by Erin Watt. This one I read a long time ago, but I still absolutely love it. It was such a great book not only because it is so rom-com-ish in the way that it is and it's a fake dating story but it also has some seriousness to it as well and really dives into the characters so this one follows a girl who needs some money because she needs to afford college for her brothers and she has other problems going on with her house and she just can't make ends meet when this opportunity comes up where she can be like the fake girlfriend of this really popular singer or actor, I can't remember, who has a bad reputation and so PR wants to build up his reputation by having him date someone who is common. Um, so they create this whole fake scenario of PR and slowly but surely they get to know each other and things work out and it's just a lovely story. I really enjoyed it. The next one I'd recommend is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. Mc Quiston. I always say her name wrong. Um, so this one, everyone and their daughter is probably already read, but I still wanted to include it in here because it's just such such a lovely story and I love it. This one is an LGBTQ book that follows the first son of the president. He is kind of in a hate relationship with the Prince of Wales. So when this event occurs and they are not getting along and they happen to disrupt this whole event, PR decides that they should pretend to be best friends. So they um, have to go to these different PR events and pretend to like each other and eventually it just, it turns really cute and romantic and it's just such a lovely story. I love it so much. The first time I read it, I just couldn't get it my, out of my head and I had to read it again and it was just such such a wonderful story and I love it so much. And the last recommendation I have for you today is Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. So this one is a lot like Red, White and Royal Blue, but it has a different kind of tone to it. It's still like a lovely story, but it follows someone who is very anxious. And when his father, who is an ex-rock star, who has just recently got out of rehab and starting to be a judge on one of these like singer contest thing, his life kind of gets brought back into the limelight and he is not shown in a very good light and so his job is kind of in jeopardy because of that so in order to 
bring up his reputation, he wants to find someone who is a lot more presentable in the limelight kind of thing and to bring up his reputation. And so he finds Oliver and so they pretend to fake date and then eventually you know where it goes. So I really enjoyed this one. It was such an adorable book. It was just really cute and it really reminded me of Red, White, and Royal Blue. So that kind of made me a little biased towards it, but I still really loved it. All right. So those are all my adult romance recommendations for you guys. I really, really love so many of these and rom-coms are definitely some of my favorites and there are definitely some authors that I absolutely love so much. But yeah, these are my recommendations. Um, hopefully you guys got something out of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet to get more recommendations and to get more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!